Hi, this is Broccoli Propaganda and in this video we're going to talk about calorie absorption. I already touched upon it in my other video where I talk about why counting calories for weight loss is really pointless, so check it out. Uh, I'm going to link it here and also on the, in the description box. But now I would like to go more into detail about uh, how calories are absorbed in our body. So first of all, it's not the calories that you eat or see on the packaging that are all going to be absorbed by your body. Why? Because our body can only absorb uh, nutrients when they come into physical contact with our intestinal walls. Um, so, so our walls have these thingies on, on them when they start absorbing the nutrients that you eat from the food. And the more, like, easier it is for them to absorb this food, the more they absorb. So, for example, um, if you eat nuts, and a lot of you are scared of eating nuts because you think that they are really calorie dense, which is true, but actually you will absorb 30% less calories than you see on the packaging. Why? It's because of the fiber content, because Fiber actually doesn't have any calories, but fiber exists in all plant foods. I talk about this more in my other video about fiber. But um, fiber kind of serves as a, as a wall between, um, between the food that you eat and uh, your intestinal walls. It can actually trap sugars, it can trap fat, and um, it actually eliminates certain a lot of calories by just carrying them out of your stomach directly into the toilet so um, there's like actually drugs on the market like um, pills that kind of have the same function but it's so much easier to just eat more fiber than um, buying pills by the way all the things that i'm saying is um, backed by research so check it out in the description box fiber cannot actually get absorbed by your body. Your body just takes all the nutrients out of fiber rich foods and then it kind of carries the fiber through your intestinal organs. Um, what is interesting is that fiber is giving our organs kind of like a extra physical workout because it takes uh, actually muscles to inside of us to push the fiber down and what it does is it creates um, extra burn of calories which is actually two percent um, for those people who eat fiber rich foods compared to those people who eat fiber depleted food so actually in your sleep you're burning calories and two percent might not seem like a lot but actually it can be like about 50 calories a day the other function of fiber that should be mentioned is that i already said that they trap certain calories so if you for example want to indulge in some unhealthy food like um let's say cheese, um, I don't recommend to eat cheese, but let's say you want to eat cheese, then I would say, okay, just eat a lot of fiber just before, like a cup of cooked beans um, with some spinach, and then your the amount of fat from cheese will be uh, like much less absorbed by your intestinal walls than if you eat this cheese without previously consuming the fiber. Another thing that is interesting about absorption is that our bodies absorb and uh, distribute and metabolize the food that we eat uh, differently depending on the time of day. And it depends on the circadian rhythm that we have, actually depends on the light. Um, so there's research that confirms that the food that we eat in the morning will be less stored into fat than the food that we eat in the evening. The researchers in Italy did this experiment when they gave uh, the, same amount, the same calories for each meal, so breakfast, uh, lunch and dinner, and then instead of looking at how it affects weight loss, they also looked into how many calories it takes your body to actually burn those calories. And it's interesting because the 1,200 meal at breakfast takes your body 300 calories to burn, while if you would eat the same calories at dinner, your body will only burn 200 calories. So it really d depends on what you eat and when you eat it. To sum it up, think about how fast your body can absorb certain calories. Liquid calories, for example, uh, are going to get absorbed much faster and you will feel much hungrier later on because it will cause 
a higher sh um, sugar spike in your blood. And if you want to know more about why um, sugar spike in your blood is important, what it does to your metabolism and weight gain, then you should check my video about high glycemic load and also check my video about uh, insulin resistance. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.